Now the table method to calculate the, the cost variances is very simple, very easy, and it's going to save you a lot of time. And another benefit is visually it just illustrates so well how you start from the original budget first, then flex the budget, and then compare it to the actual, and then split the variances in the middle with that actual quantity of input at the standard column. But then they, I know there's some of you that love the formulas and you love memorizing them. So let's see how the formulas are exactly the same as what you do in the table. So let's take the information of the material. So we had an original budget for a thousand units. And we said it's one kilogram per unit at 10 per kilogram. So that's the standard cost or on your standard cost card, you would have had this 10 per unit thing. So you can see 10 per kilogram times one kilogram per unit is the same as the standard cost of 10 per unit. So let's just get the terms right again. So the one kilogram per unit, that's the standard quantity according to our specifications on the standard cost card. And the 10 per kilogram, that's our standard price. And if you multiply the standard quantity by the standard price, we get the standard cost. So that's how that what and from our original budget then we would have had a thousand units times one times ten. So we budgeted for ten thousand. That's the cost of material. Then we had the actual. So if I remember correctly, it was eleven four nine five. And somewhere there to give us some information on how much kilograms it was or what the price was. It could have only given us the, the actual price or they could have given us the kilograms, but they had to give one of the two to calculate the other one. Um, and then we had to calculate the, the material price variance and the material quantity variance or usage variance. So the first thing we did was to prepare the flexible budget or flexed the budget. So that was for 1,100 units. That was the actual units produced. So that was also necessary to know. So how do we flex the budget? We said uh, we take the cost of the original budget divided by the units of the original budget to get a cost per unit. Now that's our standard cost per unit. And then we can multiply that by our actual units produced to get a flexible budget value, 11,000. Now let's use the formulas instead of the table to calculate the quantity variance. So I'll do the quantity variance up here. and the price variance down here. So the quantity variance first. So the quantity variance, the formula would be our standard quantity, less our actual quantity, multiplied by the standard price. So our standard quantity, remember that's not our budgeted, original budgeted quantity, standard quantity, remember standard, if you hear the word standard, what is the word that you must think of immediately? Standard means should have, should have used, should have. Remember standard is should have based on the actual units produced. So how much, how many kilograms should we have used? That's what we want. So standard quantity is how many kilograms should we have used to produce the actual units. So that would have been 1,100 units multiplied by the standard quantity per unit, one kilogram. So I can say times one year, but it's, it'll stay the same. So I'll just leave it at 1,100. That's 1,100 kilograms. That's how much we should have used. Minus the actual quantity. So how much did we use? So that was given. So that'll give us in brackets now the amount of kilograms we used too much or too little of. And we can see we used too much, so we know the variable is going to be unfavorable. So I can put a U there. Why is that? Because we used more than what we should have used. And then we must just put a value to it, so we'll multiply it by the standard price. So remember, standard price is we get over here on the standard cost card, so 10. So that will give us a difference. The kilograms difference is a 110 kilograms times 10, so that's 1,100, and it's unfavorable. So we put it in brackets, or we indicate it with a U, or a UF, or a A for adverse. Sometimes they like to use the word adverse. 
but just u or in brackets would be enough or a negative sign before negative sign is a bit difficult to see sometimes so you rather use brackets or um, use a u or write out the word unfavorable or negative so let's just check whether this is the same as our table there we have it 1100 unit oh, 1100 and it's unfavorable now let's look at the price variance using the formulas so for the price variance We've got standard price, less actual, that's not actual, less actual price times actual quantity. So let's, uh, let's do the calculation. So standard price, we know that was 10 per kilogram. Remember standard price is not the standard cost. It's the standard price per kilogram, less the actual price per kilogram. So they didn't give that to us, so we can calculate it. So the actual price per kilogram is the total cost divided by the actual kilograms used. So that's 950. Um, and you can see there we used, we paid less, 50 cents less than what we should have paid. And then we can multiply it by the actual quantity that was used. So that was given in this case, 1,210 kilograms. And that will give us the price variance and it's favorable in this case um, if you get if you say standard price less actual price it'll be positive it will immediately immediately be right but if you forget which one comes first just think to yourself is it positive or negative is it good that we paid less or is it bad so if we pay less than what we should have paid it has to be a favorable variance we saved money so now i can see the the quantity variance and the price variance we can calculate using the formulas and it's the same as the answers we get from the table because it's the same numbers we use in the same way and now if you do the labor and the variable overheads you, you'll see the formulas are the same it's every time for quantity it's standard quantity less actually actual quantity times standard price for the price variances or the rate variances it will be standard price less actual price times the actual quantity